initiating a run in the decloaking chamber next gen system begins with a few simple steps. First, fill the unit's pot with 500 milliliters of deionized or filtered water. Using the correct amount of liquid ensures that the required temperature and pressure settings are reached for each retrieval run. Next, load your slides into one of the decloaking chamber next gen's specially designed metal canisters along with your BioCare retrieval buffer of choice. There are two types of metal slide canisters available for the decloaking chamber next gen. Despite the different handle lengths and exterior colors, both types of aluminum canisters provide rapid and even heat transfer from the unit's heating elements to the retrieval solutions and the slide mounted tissue sections. For best results, use at least 200 milliliters of retrieval solution in the metal canisters. Always use three metal canisters during each run. Once a decloaking chamber has been loaded with three canisters in the metal basket, carefully seal the unit, ensuring that one, the lid is fully locked into place, two, the pressure cable is securely attached to the lid, and three, the pressure limit valve is level and set directly on the pressure stem. Programming the decloaking chamber next gen is a rapid and simple process. Select a program by pressing the protocol list or menu button to display the thermal set point options. Next, change the time settings if necessary using the indicated arrow keys on the face of the programming unit. While the run is in progress, the front screen of the decloaking chamber next gen provides real time information about the temperature of the pot as well as the time remaining in the run is illustrated here by time lapse video. The proper use of heat and pressure in conjunction with the appropriate retrieval solutions is of the utmost importance for consistent immunohistochemistry staining. The decloaking chamber next gen is designed to optimize and standardize antibody staining procedures and has been engineered to pass strict laboratory safety requirements. In addition, the use of steam monitor strips with runs at 110 degrees Celsius provides confirmation that appropriate heat and pressure levels were reached inside the unit. A steam monitor strip placed inside the unit will turn dark gray or brownish black when exposed to temperatures over 100 degrees. When using a steam strip, carefully place it inside the unit, ensuring that it does not fall into the water. With a total capacity of 72 slides and only minutes of hands-on time per run, the decloaking chamber next gen offers a walk-away capability similar to fully automated staining instruments. The decloaking chamber next gen's ease of use and reliability make it an excellent tool for heat-induced epitope retrieval.